All right, so welcome back here, ladies and gentlemen. And in this lesson, since now we have all of our control curves gone and created for um, what we're going to go ahead and need here, we can go ahead and actually skin our model. And <clears throat> this is where it's not necessarily going to get complicated. We just have to make sure that we skin properly so that um, we actually get a, a decent deformation um, on the arms uh, as well as the main portion of the legs here. So let's go ahead and do that here. Let's turn our reference layer off. Let's go ahead and come in here and select our arm. As you can see, I'm only selecting the the actual arm geometry. I'm not going to go ahead here and, and actually select the, the hand geometry, any of the fingers, um, or the shoulder control um, portion of the arm. And I'm also going to do the same here th um, for the leg. I'm not necessarily going to go ahead and actually select the foot because the foot and, and the hands aren't um, going to really have to be skinned. So let's go in here, select our arm, make sure that we select our joint, okay, which is the main joint in our joint chain. We're going to come up here to skin, bind skin, and let's take a look at our smooth binding options here. We're only going to use a max influence of 3 and a drop off rate of 4.0. This way whenever we skin this we're going to get a, a decent deformation. So let's go ahead and hit apply and let's just take a look at our skinning here and you can see that we actually have a a good skin so if I go ahead and select this middle joint which is our elbow you can see that this is already bending fairly well okay so we're not really gonna you know have to struggle with painting weights um, and, and that's probably a bad word because struggle would really indicate something that's more of a higher density mesh um, so we're not really gonna have to say paint weights at all because this is you know fairly low and all of our joints are basically drawn out in a decent way so let's go ahead and do the same thing here for the right side I'm just gonna hit G to repeat that skinning command come down here to the leg just making sure that we grab the top joint of the joint chain skin the leg do the same thing here for the right leg okay so now we have our, our mesh completely skinned okay as you can see here and you can notice that I didn't necessarily skin our what is going to be our reverse foot control either okay so with that uh, done we'll go ahead and call it a, an end for this lesson no I'm just kidding we're gonna go ahead and draw out our IKs here so let's go ahead and just double um, click our IK handle tool under our animation shelf just making sure that we um, use a rotate plane solver here okay and it's important where we actually draw our IK handles out so we don't want to draw it from the original joint mesh or the joint of the the joint chain we don't want to draw it from this joint we actually want to draw it from the second joint here okay so let's go ahead and select this and then we'll draw it all the way down to the end just check to see if this is going to work as you can see here that actually has the the deformation that I'm looking for okay so let's go ahead and do the same thing here for the right side just making sure that you select that second joint in the joint chain doing the same thing here for the right leg just making sure that we draw this out at the correct portion here and we just need to select uh, the end joint here which is good go ahead and turn this these two joints off real quick just hit Y here to repeat my IK handle command okay and draw that out so now if we template our leg here and take a look at our joint chain for our leg this is actually gonna draw it out in the way that we want okay so let's go ahead and delete this layer 2 delete layer 1 here We just need to. Oh, I'm gonna have to go ahead and re-add these here to a to a layer, just so I can template these out, so that I can parent this out correctly. Okay. Now with that done, <coughs> we would um what we want to go ahead and do here is actually start parenting out some of our geometry to the controls for our mesh. So we want to parent our shoulder geo to the main geo in um, the first joint chain here. 
do the same thing here for the right side just select our shoulder mesh go ahead and parent that out okay so now we're gonna go ahead here and select the, the main joint chain and parent that out to what is our control curve there for the shoulder so now when we rotate this you can see where our arms are actually gonna go ahead and rotate properly okay but our IK handle is still on here okay so if we go ahead and rotate this you can see where this is actually going to move but in some cases you might not actually have to do that you can probably just go ahead and um, use your joint and then just simply you know use a rotate constraint here or you can go ahead and parent this one so that this is actually going to move which is probably our best bet there Okay. just making sure that we do the same thing here for the right side just making sure that we okay parent that and then we'll parent that joint chain to the nerves curve okay so now that's actually going to go ahead and rotate here and then we're going to parent this to the main body control and doing the same thing here for this side okay so now when we rotate this our arm is actually going to rotate here as well let's make sure that I reparent that and you can see where our arms are going to rotate with that control okay we're going to go ahead here and parent the body to this as well but we want to make sure that we parent the door button to the door then we'll parent the door to the body then parent the body to the main body control so now we have everything in there okay I'm not going to make the connections for the for the arms um, right yet because I want to do a little bit more parenting okay so let's come up here to the head making sure that we parent the teeth geometry and I need to go ahead and actually combine these real quick Just making sure that I clear the history off of that. We're going to parent all this geometry to this curve. Okay, so we want to go ahead and select that. And I'm not <coughs> actually parenting the eyes here. And you'll see why here in a little bit. So let's go ahead and do that. And we'll parent that to the head box control making sure that we parent the antenna to the head okay so now when we rotate this our head is gonna actually move here okay and I want to go ahead here and template this out real quick do the same thing here for the eyes and we're just gonna go ahead and make sure that we've selected these eyelids and we'll go ahead and delete some layers here so we have that back on and we're gonna go ahead and parent that to what is the eye mesh or like the the eye holder mesh okay you can actually go ahead and parent your eyes to this but the main part here is we don't want to really do the the eye control simply because we want to keep those eyes somewhat separate from the uh, the eye control somewhat separate from the the actual body because when we rotate and move that head we want uh, the eyes to move independently and we're going to do that with some constraints here so just making sure that we check this our head is actually moving properly here and we need just may just need to go ahead and make sure that this is actually going to be right in the center of the the control because I don't want that head to sort of be moving here so we'll just hit insert to grab our pivot and just placing that where it should be okay so now if we just rotate it while well, you can see that the head is gonna rotate fine okay everything including the eyes so now we'll parent the head to the body control 
So now the head is actually going to be moving with the body. Okay. And you can see that, let me go ahead and turn this door off here. I also have two inner portions of the body. And this is important because we're also going to be adding a door control here. So we'll go ahead and just parent um, these two to the actual body. Okay, we'll go ahead and delete that layer. Okay. And now we'll go ahead here and <clears throat> make our pull vector constraints. So selecting our elbow control. I don't know if you can actually see that IK handle there. Just making sure that we're in our anu um, animation menu set. We'll hit constraint, pull vector. Okay, so now we actually have a pull vector on our arm. So it's going to be like an elbow, as you can see here. Do the same thing here for the right side. Selecting our elbow control. Selecting our IK. Just hit G to repeat that command. Okay, so now we have a decently controlled arm and shoulder piece, as you can see here. Do the same thing here for the knees. Selecting our knee control, our pull vector for the knees. We're going to go ahead and hit G to repeat that command. Do the same thing here for the right leg. Hit G to repeat that command. And if you take a look here um, in the shape node inside of your channel box, your CCR knee WO, this is the weight of your pull vector or your IK constraint. So that would come into play, say, if you were making an IK, um, an IKFK rig inside of Maya, where you could actually set keys to turn that off, whether it be from um, FK to IK or IK and then back. Okay. So now that we have all of our pull vector constraints here, we can go ahead and parent inside of our, or parent for our foot geometry here. So we want to take the, go ahead and just turn those foot off, feet off. So we'll go ahead and select our IK handle, and we will parent it to the joint, the last joint that's in the, um, the reverse foot call, um, control joint chain. Okay, so now if we select that bottom joint, you can see where that's actually going to go ahead and move. But you can still see where our foot geometry isn't necessarily moving, and that's fine. That's not necessarily a problem. We can go ahead and fix that fairly easy. So let's go ahead and select that joint chain, parent that to the, the foot control here. Okay, and then we, we will go ahead and select our... Oh, let me go ahead and just turn these two off real quick. Well, we can't necessarily turn those off, so we just have to come in here and make sure that we grab this properly, because I want to grab this joint chain and this joint chain, so we'll go ahead and just turn those off. We'll go ahead and delete this layer one, which is our foot geometry layer. Okay, so I want to grab our foot and parent it to this joint, not the bottom joint here. Um, you can parent it to the bottom joint, but you're probably better off if we parent the foot to what is the second to last joint there. So we'll do the same thing here for this side. Parent that to this joint. Hit P. Okay, we'll go ahead and turn that um, foot geometry layer back on. Just template it out. Okay. Do this, uh, and make the same connections that we did for the left foot. So grab this IK, grab the last joint in our IK, our, our reverse foot control joint chain, hit P, then grab the main joint, parent it to the foot um, control. Go ahead and delete that layer. Okay, so now we can go ahead and basically have our complete foot moving, but we're also going to have the ability to rotate our foot here as you can see and if we want to say rotate our foot or have a heel control for our foot we're going to be able to go ahead and do that and we'll set connections and attributes here in a little while on these controls to go ahead and do that but we're also going to make sure that we're going to have stretchy limbs here 
Okay, so now that we have all those connections sort up, we're going to go ahead here now and start doing the parenting for our hands. So let's just go ahead and select all three of our fingers. We want to go ahead and parent that to the main portion of the hand. So now this is actually going to go ahead and rotate. Okay. But you can see where our arm still isn't necessarily moving right now. And we're not going to go ahead and make the connections for that here. So we'll do the same thing here for the right. Just parent that to the main portion of the arm. Okay. And I'm not necessarily making that connections for the most part right now because we're going to be adding attributes and a stretchy limb to that. And I don't want to sort of waste my time with um, parenting that IK because our IK is going to change whenever we make our um, stretchy limb. So let's go ahead here and parent our leg top joint to our um, top leg control. Do the same thing here for the right side. Okay, and then we will parent these top controls to the main body control. So now, when we move this, you can see that Bender's actually starting to come along fairly nicely in terms of his, you know, rigging movement, as you can see. Okay, and <clears throat> now I think we'll go ahead and call it an end for this lesson. And in the next lesson, we'll go ahead and come back and we'll start adding some of the attributes that I know we're going to need to go ahead and um, put into the rig and continue to watch and, and uh, I hope you enjoyed that.